Have you ever animated a walk cycle in place and moved the character forward with a master control and wondering if there is a very simple way to place the motion back into the COG and I case? In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how you can do this in three simple steps. What I have here at the moment is a very simple walk cycle and the forward animation is in the master control but what I want is to actually zero out this control and transfer it back all that motion back to the eye case so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the eye case and move the character around then I'm gonna copy the X form for all the frames I'm gonna zero out the animation on the master control and I'm gonna transfer it back the animation on the icons. And what I ended up with is this. So I'm gonna roll that back and explain what the heck I did. Okay, so I'm back to this. So what I did was uh, when you copy the, um, the X form for all the frames, I control shift click this button here it's the same as using this command and it's really quickly it copies it stores in a file a temporary file all the uh, X form all the positions like the world positions of all of this all of the range all the frames and when I do that, I'm, <clears throat> I'm free to do whatever I want actually with the master. And what I did here, I used the, uh, a shortcut for cleaning out of the keys. And it's, I actually used this command here. Uh, I mapped it to uh, Control Shift X, but you can do whatever you want. And at this point, what I have is this then I don't actually need to zero this if I want I can like, even do like some crazy stuff like you can do whatever you want with the master because when I paste it back I'm control alt shift clicking this and what I actually using is this command here it's going, it's going to pass, paste uh, the um, world transform for all the, the keys all the existing keys that was that were in there in the timeline. 